I don't do a lot of videos like this, what's new with Power Rangers, but there's a new development. We have a new showrunner who's going to be helping out Jonathan Etwistle at Netflix in developing a Power Rangers show. Her name's Jenny Klein. I have to say I'm really excited to see what she brings to the show because she has a lot of experience in different variations of superhero shows and fantasy shows that I think is really going to come into play when adapting this and bringing Power Rangers maybe to a more mature audience or into a more current decade. She's originally from Skokie, Illinois, so hey, go Illinois. But then she went to Southern Carolina School of Cinematic Arts and graduated magna cum laude, which I don't really know what that means, but I assume she worked really hard for it, so I thought I should bring it up. You know, someone accomplishes something. Give them credit for it. Her career is relatively new. Most of the things on IMDb date back to like 2016, which the world of business is not really that long ago. The first thing that's really on there is a short film she did called Last Meal, but her first major role was being a story editor on 109 episodes of the show Supernatural, and then also being an executive story editor for 52 episodes. So it's awesome as Power Ranger fans to see that her first real jump into the entertainment industry was working on something that was a fantasy show. She did some transcribing for a docu-series and then moved on to Jessica Jones, where she became a co-producer. And she did actually end up writing one episode on Jessica Jones, which is great to see that she's done multiple things, not just producing, because sometimes you get people who, they've only done one side of a job, they understand that side of it, and they base like the writing off of what an executive producer would do and not a writer. So I'm glad she has some experience doing writing. Then she moved on to a show called Cloak and Daggers, which honestly I'd never heard of, but it's a Marvel show exclusive to Hulu. And she did write two episodes of that show as well. Now, if you're wondering, does she have the right to be on Power Rangers? Well, she did get to work with some Power Ranger royalty on Cloak and Daggers, Emma Lahana. She has worked with a Power Ranger before. Just as fans, it's really cool to see that. And I'm glad that she has had that experience. Then she worked on The Tick on Amazon Prime, which is another superhero show, but is a lot more comical, which is great for Power Rangers because I don't want Power Rangers to become some gross, disgusting, over-the-top blood and guts and, you know, like drug references or anything like that. I want it to stay family-friendly, but also be a little more mature and fun um, for the older audience as well. Then she moved on to The Witcher, which she co-executive produced eight episodes. She also wrote an episode and has credits for helping write Toss a Coin to Your Witcher. Now, if that is an awesome, you know, I don't know what else is. One of the most recent things that she has done is be a part of The Thing About Pam, which I have not seen. It's very critically acclaimed. People have talked about how great it is. Now, I want to encourage everybody in the Power Ranger fandom to send Jenny some positive vibes. Welcome her to the Power Ranger family and make sure that she feels welcome. You know, I've been watching Kenobi on Disney Plus and uh, Moses Ingram has shared all these comments and these people like doing death threats and saying racist, horrible things to her in her DMs on Instagram for what, you know, I, why, why she's an actress. She's just doing her job and you don't like her character on the show. So you threaten her with her life or call her all these horrible things. I don't want the power ranger fandom to ever come to that. I hope it doesn't just make sure, uh, that whoever is jumping in on the Power Ranger fandom, that we send them some love, send them some positivity, and make sure that they feel welcome because we want this show to continue. We want the franchise to build and build and build. I'm going to put Jenny's Twitter account um, linked below so you can get on there if you have Twitter and just say, hey, welcome. We're really excited to have you be a part of this because she has a lot of great experience, and I think she's going to provide a lot of good things for Power Rangers and push us into the future with teaming up with Jonathan Atwistle. So if you had an idea for a Power Rangers miniseries, now I'm not talking about doing a full season of Power Rangers. I'm talking about a reunion of some sort or a different style show with Power Rangers on Netflix. Comment below. Let me know what you think. I'm going to do a video um, on different ideas I have that I think would be really great if Netflix utilized the Power Ranger franchise in different ways that maybe they're not thinking of. So if you like that idea, let me know. Hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys like this sort of Power Ranger news update stuff, let me know. Um, I don't do it a lot just because I know uh, things change so quickly that I don't know if it's worth doing a video all the time. So if you like it, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. And, uh, you know, uh, this is still, I love doing this channel. I love getting to know you guys. So thank you guys so much. Have a good one. Bye.